When it comes to finding the right branding strategy for your brand, you need to keep in mind that there's no such thing as a one size fits all solution. The most effective branding strategies in the market are unique to one another, entirely built for the needs of their brand. But there's no harm in checking out the secrets of these strategies that made them effective in the first place. Hey guys, welcome to Creative, where we help athletes, sports marketers, and athletic business owners learn how to build lasting legacies beyond the game. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Today, we'll be discussing different types of branding strategies used in the market and what makes them effective. We'd love for you guys to tackle that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. When it comes to staying on top of the game in the sporting industry, some newcomers think that having a brand is enough to win the game. When the truth of the matter is that they also need a solid branding strategy specifically designed and developed for their needs. Just as the major players like Puma, Under Armour, and Columbia Sportswear, a good branding strategy will help brands cultivate the image and reputation that they need. Without one, it would be like building a home without any plans. So why do branding strategies matter? There's no denying that the process of branding can be daunting and confusing for those new to the game. The procedure itself involves a lot of moving parts, but besides this, branding is a never-ending activity. Big names like Nike, Adidas, and New Balance continue to build their brands despite their success. This is because as the years go by, the market changes its shape and consumers evolve. So to make sure that the brands stay on track with its long-term goals despite all the new challenges they face, they develop continued brand strategies to help them. And here's why brands must have one. You want to clearly communicate your value proposition. Your company's value proposition is not just your selling point. It sums up all of the benefits that your brand can offer to your fan base. The main reason why they should choose you over your competitors. Unfortunately, despite its seemingly important role in success, a lot of newcomers forget about their value proposition. They get overwhelmed and overthink and use freelancers to develop random logos and designs, and, and they don't often think about the overall discovery process and how it helps the selling point and properly communicating it to the world. Thankfully, a well-developed brand strategy will make sure that your value proposition is communicated through various touch points of visual and messaging for your brand. It really helps you filter out the bad ideas and bad prospects. Some newcomers make the rookie mistake of doing everything that shines without actually thinking about it. The shiny object syndrome. And without an actual brand strategy by your side, it'll be difficult to know whether you should jump on certain trends or not. Not to mention, if you're thinking or planning to expand your services, your brand strategy will help you elevate whether it's a good idea or not. A great brand strategy will serve as a reminder of what your vision is. It'll assist you in weeding out those bad ideas, those bad customers, and bring in the good ones. A good brand strategy will help the future growth of your company by being more efficient. One con about design is that it often takes up a majority of time businesses have. From the brainstorming sessions themselves down to the back and forth between designers, content writers, copywriters, and the brand themselves. The process becomes more time consuming when the company doesn't have any sort of clue about what's best for their brand. Thankfully, an effective branding strategy will help you and your designers make informative decisions. Similar to what we discussed earlier, 
Having a brand strategy makes it easier for your brand to figure out which ideas will work and which won't. You can lessen the time spent on deciding which logo design is better or which color scheme works for this piece or this medium and have a concrete guide to follow. Ultimately, a branding strategy clears out the path that brands need to go in order for them to actually succeed and grow a system. Now, let's talk about some different types of branding strategies. As we mentioned earlier, there are various kinds of branding strategies you can use as a company or a brand. But how do you know which types of strategy fit your needs? Well, let's kind of get into it. If you're just starting out or you're smaller, a personal brand is probably the most effective. A personal branding is one of the most common branding strategies used around the globe, especially for athletes. This specific type of branding strategy is used for individuals who want to establish their character, personality, or work for their brand. It's a strategy that, like I said, most celebrities use, politicians, leaders, and again, athletes use to present the best versions of themselves to the public. For example, athlete Derek Jeter have used this said strategy to build various relationships with nine various companies. In addition, he was able to launch a website edited by pro athletes called the Player Tribune that featured first person stories for athletes. Jeter became a well-known and recognizable figure even after he retired from the Yankees. And this is because his personal branding strategy focused on building his reputation as a hardworking individual who loves sports. If you want to be able to build something stronger than your career, personal branding might be the solution for you. Product branding is a subset of personal branding or corporate branding. Another commonly used strategy, product branding puts a specific product or service into focus to make it more distinct and recognizable, similar to our brand building process. While personal branding is all about highlighting the personalities of people, product branding is all about creating unique designs, symbols that make your products stand out with your overall brand. One great example of this is Monster Energy Drinks logos and their packaging they use on various products. In the aisle filled with other drinks, people can easily recognize Monster's energy drinks from its competitors like Red Bull, which is a whole nother discussion. But its distinct design differentiates itself from larger competition. Even from afar, fans can spot their products thanks to its unique, colorful cans. It's true that design matters, regardless of what brand strategy you use but it's especially important for your products. Corporate branding is once you get past the personal branding stage. Companies who want to build a stronger presence in the market give corporate branding a try. It's a strategy focused on building and developing core values internally and externally for your business and philosophy. A lot of major brands have used this branding strategy alongside other strategies such as product branding, as well as your online branding. Take for example, Nike. Nike has launched various branding campaigns over the years, but they're most well known for their corporate branding, Just Do It, as well as their Air Jordan campaigns for their products. What made corporate branding strategies effective for Nike is consistency. Thanks to the said strategy, Nike was able to build an entire identity for their company. And regardless of what they launched, their product brands remain consistent with their corporate ones. But ultimately, if you want to highlight your company's work and all that it believes in, corporate branding is the right strategy for you. Now, there are other kinds of brand strategies besides the three that we've mentioned above, like service branding, online branding, and no branding brand strategies. But the ones we've mentioned earlier are some of the most commonly used strategies in the market. And depending on the outcome of the discovery process you've gone through, you'll use one or two of these branding strategies we've mentioned above. T.
New players often make the rookie mistake of taking branding strategies for granted. They think that when it comes to building their own brand, all they need to really worry about is their logo. The fact of the matter is that logos and designs are only one of the crucial sets of elements you need to worry about. If you want to learn more about different types of branding strategies in the market and how you can figure out which ones work best for your needs, please be sure to check out the rest of our videos on branding. We hope you guys loved today's video and if you want to learn more about the great solutions that can truly change the game, don't forget to tackle that subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps out the channel. Now this is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport.